Hey everybody, what's going on? Just wanted to uh, get this out of the way, out of the way real quick. Figured I'd do something a little different on my way over to uh, Belmore Car Show. Figured I'd get a little introduction before you know I get there and do what I gotta do, hang out, talk to people, see some cars, and whatever other little crazy antics they do over there. Um, I had to stop for a minute this way. I can at least get this part done out of the way. And I will be catching cars doing their flybys, whatever, what have you. And, uh, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Feel free. Doesn't bother me none. All right, I will see you soon. Peace. Hey, it's your book. Hey, back again, real quick. Uh, can someone down in the comments tell me if the MTA police have any sort of jurisdiction on whether or not you can get pulled over driving a vehicle or whatnot? That'd be uh, a great answer to a question of mine. Thanks. Hey, y'all. Just pulled up come across this piece of artwork I mean I was just talking to the owner and he said uh, you know that there's a lot of Peterbelts out there yeah but not in pickup truck configuration so I don't know maybe maybe I'll see if I can get some uh, information all right later sorry about the train noise but yeah, I'm at here at Belmore. Kind of dead. Oh, I guess it's because it was uh, due to the weather. But uh, what can you do? Can you blame anybody for not bringing their cars out? I sure as shit can't. But for those that are here, let's admire. A pair of 442s. Four four That's cool. I was trying to take a picture before and you
aqui vai ser chato. catch something later on not sure so uh see you in a bit What's going on? I'm back. Um, couldn't get much info. Well, let me rephrase that. I couldn't really get video on that big uh, Peterbilt truck. But what I have gathered is that it's a 1986 Peterbilt. Historical plates. From what the guy says, you know, he's got on it. And from what I've seen, and I probably have video of the, the license plate. I don't know. Um, but it's got it registered as a historical pickup truck because it's a 1986 um engine wise it's a 3406 caterpillar i don't know a if it's a b c d e but it's you know like i said a 3406 cat engine seven speed man train manual transmission for those who don't know um, it used to be a yard truck for Dollar General. Right now, it has forty, a little over forty-nine thousand original miles. Um, used to be a tandem truck with a hydraulic fifth wheel. You know, like I said, it used to be a yard truck for Dollar General in Arkansas or Alabama, somewhere over there. Um. What else? He chopped off five feet, put a rear axle capable of 46,000 pounds, a 2014 Dodge Ram 3500 dually long bed on it. It does have air ride. He does plan on doing more to it in the future. Um, and it is his daily driver. Uh, fuel mileage wise, from what I gathered, it's about 14 miles to the gallon. Uh, fuel storage wise, you know, for the fuel tanks and whatnot, it's it holds about 230 gallons of fuel. He can get from, you know, New York to California and halfway back before he has to completely fill up again. Uh, that's all I can remember for now. If anything, I will update you if I can remember or if I see him next week. Uh, yeah, I know I'm saying uh, a lot, but I'm trying to remember. 
Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's all. You know, all the information I gather from it. Hopefully, he'll be with this truck next week, or if I see him next week, if he is there, he'll either be with uh, the Peterbilt that he has, or his 07 or 08 Dodge. I know it's in one of my videos. It's a red Dodge. That, I'll get into details you know, if I see him next week and he's got the Dodge, you know, I'll, I'll ask him if I can make a video of, you know, both trucks or just do the one truck and he wants to talk about both. That's up to him. I'm not going to force him into doing anything he doesn't want to do. That's just the kind of guy I am. So, as of right now, I know I didn't get really get much footage, but, you know, as I said earlier... Uh, it was literally dead quiet. I will have a video before this gets uploaded or after this gets uploaded of a 1963 Plymouth Belvedere. Really cool looking car. Really nice setup. You know, hopefully, you know, if I see him next week, if I come, I don't know. Uh, I'll try to get some information for him. Uh, I also should will have a video of a car show in Baldwin for the uh, fire department. Which will be coming out this week at some point. Uh, try to get, you know, I'll try to get a little video of that with the amount of you know, cars, if they come, or, you know, however long I decide to, you know, video and whatnot, you know, a lot of, you you guys know how YouTube works, you know, well, not YouTube, but video editing and all this other stuff, you know, for your entertainment, all right, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Later.